Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with hey, you guys. Hey, guys. What's uh, up? I don't know. You you weren't supposed hey, to do man. that. All yeah. right. Well, obviously, what's wrong? obviously, I'm not alone, guys. I am here with JV Brock from my clan. Uh, you can call him Jonathan. He's my coworker. Jonathan, say what's up. Hey, guys. What's up? Um, but today we have a very special video for you guys. He's over. We're about to play some Xbox together. But um, I have a go wipe strategy ready for you guys. As you can see, we have ten wizards, four pekkas, and four yeah, four pekkas and two golems. Um, <laughs> my clan castle is empty because I forgot to request, but I don't really care. So why don't we go ahead and jump into this and see what we can find? All right, guys. Um, off the bat, this first base looks really good, but I'm not even gonna mess with it because that's way too hard for me. <laughs> because I am still a noob. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here, and then I will be back with y'all once I find a base that is worthy of rating. All right, so I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, we are back, and I think I found a base that um, is to my liking, has pretty good resources, and it doesn't look like his um, defenses are too well upgraded. Um, so what we're gonna do first is try and uh, get our golems in here. Let's just figure out what side we want to attack from. I think we're gonna attack from down here with the Barbarian King just so we can get him out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and drop our king down. I don't think you should do that. And, <laughs> and we're gonna drop down these wizards as well to help take those out. Um, the golems are going in now. Um, and right now our wizards are taking out their uh, clan castle reinforcements. Um, his placement of his clan castle wasn't good at all because it was right on the edge. So as you see, I drew them out very easily. Um, get in there. So as the wizards work their way around, we're going to need to hopefully clear out some of these buildings around the outside um, so that we can make sure that our P.E.K.K.A.s head straight in because we don't want them to get distracted and run around the edges. Um, these golems are doing absolutely no damage right now, but whatever, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> um, so they're just going to keep working their way around. Um, and let's go ahead and see, yep, alright, so we're going to drop our P.E.K.K.A.s right here, they're going nice. to, they're going to break into the walls and get in there, and then we're going to drop another rage spell right there on the edge of them so that they mm -hmm. run into it, guys. When it comes to rage spells, you have to be really careful with your placement because you don't want to waste too much of it. As you can see, they're going to be inside of this rage spell for a long time, um, since it is centralized within the base, um, so it's, it's going to be used as effectively as possible. You gotta be accurate. Um, I gotta, you got you gotta be accurate. I mean, JV, JV knows what he's talking about. That's right. Um, we don't have that much time left over, guys, and all of our wizards are gone. Um, I probably should have brought some wall breakers or something in my clan castle, but whatever. The golems, I don't think, have done a single thing this entire time. <laughs> so we're just gonna ignore them and let the P.E.K.K.A.s run around and do all the work. Um, they are moving their way up in the base. I really want to get over to that Dark Elixir. Um, they're probably going to almost two-shot this Town Hall. That only took like three seconds. Um, but hopefully they can work their way around. It looks like all of his Teslas are down, so we don't have to worry about the 200% um, damage from those when it comes to the P.E.K.K.A.s. Um, so I think the only enemy that we have at this point in time is going to be time. Hopefully... Um, the golems and the pekkas can work their way around. I really want at least one of those pekkas. Good, he's going to break out. Or she, I apologize. I just insulted her. Um, <laughs> she is going to break out of the walls and get out there and get us all of that gold because it does look like most of it is in the collectors. As you can see, that one right there had about 15,000 um, gold in it. So they're just going to continue working their way around the outside. Um, and the golems are just going to keep doing their work. Um, and it looks like we're going to get the majority of the resources. However, the Dark Elixir is not going to be gotten. It's it's a sad day for the Dark Elixir, guys. Um, and I, I seriously do not know what the golems are doing down here <laughs> right now. Look at them. They are doing absolutely no damage. I, you know, me and the golems are about to have a falling out because I'm not I'm not dealing with that. Um, but we're at 68 percent, guys. And since we are about to um, start trophy pushing. I'm perfectly fine with getting trophies. We got an okay amount of loot, actually. 135,000 gold, 267,000 elixir, 255 dark elixir, um, which must have come from a drill, and then 16 trophies. So, guys, that is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the raid, as always. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for the support. Y'all are so much cooler than me. Um, and let's see if JV's been watching my videos and if he can do the closer for us. As always... Uh...
keep calm and clash on. That's right, guys. We'll see you later.